Greetings, comrades! I'm Gavin Caleb is back with part 2 of TNT Revolution. The door should open to episode 63 and I already found a secret. Now, I don't know if you're able to hear it, but um, it's going to be a little loud clicking on my keyboard because I've used my old Logitech G710. I forgot I still had this keyboard, it still works. I forgot how clicky these Cherry MX Blues are. But the reason being is I'm I'm cleaning up my strafe keyboard because uh, a lot of dirt gunked up around the keys and stuff, so I had to wash the keycap. Well, not the keycaps, but I, oh yeah, I can clean the keycaps. Then I uh, sort of cleaned around the switches and stuff, got all the dirt and stuff, like the hairs, all those guys down there. But yeah, yeah so got the keyboard down good, and I had to wash out the keycaps. Some of them were a little sticky, but. I'm going to let it sit for a few days. In the meantime, I'll be using my G710. Because I saw Paul's hardware uh, clean, keyboard cleaning video, and you got to give at least uh, two days minimum. Which is fine, you know, it's been a while since I used my G710. It gives me a chance to dust it off again. Oh yeah, turns out the, the, sh the car just got back from the shop, managed to replace the hoses, you know, replace the belts and stuff. And oh boy, it was not cheap. 645 smackaroonies. Yep, had to put it on my credit card. But what, um, what I'm going to do is, since my, it's technically my nephew's car, what I'm going to do is he can, uh, every two weeks he'll give me a uh, like hundred bucks and that'll help cover half of cost, because I cover half and he'll cover half, so... Just to even it out a little bit. Of course, because that means I'll be coming back on spending for a while. Go back to Ben Comrade. Yeah, I just tried out Titan Souls. That game is hard. It's basically... Imagine a boss rush mode in a game. Then think of that boss rush mode as the entire game. Like, only, I only fought three or four bosses. I only managed to beat one of them. It, it, it's a pretty interesting concept, though. Of you play as a warrior. You use a bow and arrow. Literally only one arrow, and you, of course you use that arrow to attack and open doors, but you can retrieve that arrow, you can hold X, it'll bring it back to you, or you can pick it up yourself. But, um, as a catch, one hit and you gotta go back to the hub world, I like to call it. The boss has to be defeated in creative ways for the most part. Which you can definitely appreciate, you know. Okay, so it's not much up here. So where's the red key? Oh yeah, it turns out there were videos of TNT Revolution. But why were there no reviews? On Doom World, it's weird. where it came from. Hmm. I'm gonna go back up here. Oh wait. I'm gonna go across over there. 
it might as well might be something I missed. Stick with Antonov. Less likely to blow myself up with this. And if I do hurt myself, I can deploy uh, power ups. Oh, yeah, I fired up Sense 2 for the first time in a long time. And I'm definitely going to be doubling into the modding scene for that. I'm not going to be making my old mods, of course, but check out what kind of mods there are. There's a lot of clothing mods and like furniture mods and stuff like that. It's pretty to be expected. I'm pretty sure there are other mods that make the game a little more interesting, which I'm curious how. Oh yeah, um, I played The Sims 2 on the PlayStation 2. It's completely different than the PC Sims 2. For one, um, I think it's the only version of The Sims ever where you can actually control your Sim, like around yourself instead of, you know, pointing and clicking. Like, you can actually move them around like you were playing, like, a third-person adventure game, if you can't guess with them. And, uh... I had a few things and features that weren't on the PC version, I recall. I had a lot of good memories of the... PlayStation 2. You know what? Even though I already have Sims 2 on PC, if I ever get the chance, I'm going to get the Sims 2 on the PlayStation 2 as well. When I eventually do get a PS2, that will be. Probably won't be anytime soon, though. It sucks as our pair of the, the replacement hoses don't cost like 600 bucks or so, but hey, it is what it is. Honestly, I'm not too deterred, deterred by it, because, you know, I have plenty of games and, you know, well, the only food I need to worry about are Hot Pockets and chips for work. That's about it. So I'm curious as to what I'm supposed to do here. This map 4. Blood Factory. Oh, well, they're not wrong about that. So, what did that switch do? Go over there. There's gotta be something I'm missing. Go down here? I guess so. Thing it's just blood, so it won't hurt me. Now, for a lava or a nukage, different story. But the Russian can handle that, no problem. Okay, I'm supposed to go through here, okay. Forgive me again, I've never played this one before. Okay, it's a pretty recent walk back in. I think last year, if I recall correctly, 2017. Yeah, there turned out there were videos for Revolution. I'm not surprised there weren't any reviews of it yet. Why not? Okay, no mental, let's get rid of him. We're on the home stretch. Oh, itch here. Oh yeah, uh, my little... Bandai Shukugan uh, Unicorn kind of arrived, and this thing is tiny. Like, it is small. It's like, the whole thing is like, almost the size of the palm of my hand. I'm up my perch, eh? I'm not sure what that switch did. I'm guessing I unlocked the exit. As long as I find one secret, but oh well. 
Graveyard shift. Okay. Another morning star. I'm surprised you can't dual wield morning stars, but uh definitely a lot of uh, risks in that. Twice as likely to hit yourself in the head with that, you know. Imagine you have a very bad day if you hit yourself in the head with storm axe. Trust me, that's a headache you're not going to recover from. Okay, I don't see what the point of the... I guess we to go out there, but... I can just go through for there, so what's the point? I'm not expecting a super weapon too soon. It's only map five, so yeah. Quad shells yet? Oh, I do. I guess was work like, uh, a little bit of fun. As usual. Right, another game I fired up for the first time in a while, a uh, Just Cause. The first one. Yeah, um. <laughs> funny thing, um. It doesn't really run on my native resolution. You have to download a, a separate, like, file called a. Uh, Universal resolution change or whatever. You have to Google for it, and you have to set it to recognize your resolution. But um, it's a little finicky at best. I have to do it in window mode. So, uh, if I don't do it in window mode, the page will be all scrunched up. Okay, must find switch. That's blue key. Some weird music. Okay, I suppose we're Trout Ruiner. The game that kind of interests me for a while. I'll put those a washing machine. Huge ass radar. Oh, that's a little welcoming committee over here. Because uh, uh, my dad needs to take his car to another auto shop to get the upholstery fixed, and kind of needs someone to give him a ride home. Which, of course, I volunteered. You know, why not? And it gives a chance, you know, run the car a little bit, make sure the, the radiator's working, and you know, make sure the thermostat's working. I drove it earlier, and it does work fine, but I'm gonna give it a few days just to make sure. Not fucked up, you know. Okay, so now we got the blue key. You have the blue key switched over here. How about getting that backpack? Uh. 
Oh, okay, this one. Ah, we'll itch. Don't worry, I got shield. Yeah, I'm only five maps in. I'm definitely digging this squad so far. No, I'm not taking a about the back. I got plenty of ammo already. Communications relay by Xeno Nemesis and Kaika and Dobu Gabu Maru and Jaws in space. Jeez, four people made this one map. Better be a spectacular map if four people are working on it. Come on, wait. I'm digging the music. These are our shells for now. You can use an Antonov a lot. Wasn't, again, I wasn't expecting like Antonov as much as I do, but... Oh my god. It's so versatile. I'm gonna pull a shield real quick. I'm gonna... And while I do this, I'm gonna... Eat a... Pepperoncini chip. I love these Cuddle Brand chips, they're pretty good. Granted, I wish there were more in the bag, but hey. Table, but we use AT&T for our phone and our internet. Don't ask. I think maybe at some point we'll, we'll try to upgrade our internet to faster speeds, because my nephew and I we pretty much use both for, mostly for gaming and stuff. My parents always they do is just, you know, check stuff on their phones and tablets that they don't mind much about the internet speed. Hey, the faster the better, right? I'll really put my Wi-Fi extender to use. And by the way, it's worked wonders since I got it. Acclimated to the Sims too, because uh, for the most part, we mainly played the console version, which I loved. And, you know, the Sims 2 just plays like the regular Sims. You know, you select the Slim, and you, you select the Sim, and you know, you tell them what you want them to do and where where to move them and stuff like that. Whereas in the console version, you can actually control the Sim yourself. Which I wonder if that I wonder if someone made a mod for that. If they do, I'm gonna definitely gonna download it. I don't know, something about controlling the sim yourself? No. I don't know, it makes it feel more... I guess you could say lifelike, but you know... It's nice to see them, see them doing stuff, but it's better, to me it's better to actually do that stuff. To actually do it, you know. Actually control that sim thing. And do it yourself. So. Yeah, I'm just weird that way. I'm definitely thinking this watch so far. It definitely has that TNT feel to it. The music ain't too shabby either. Yeah, the 
first Just Cause doesn't really have that many mods. It's mainly the second and third game. Third game especially. I might fire up Just Cause 3 later on. The wall not just that game. Just Cause 2, definitely enjoy that in the 360, but PC version is definitely good, but um, I kept getting crashes during that uh, chase scene in the beginning of the game. So you had to turn off decals in order to work. I only want to decal before, but hey, small loss. This game runs. Oh, go peek. Of course, I'm not gonna fire it here. I'm crazy, but I'm not that crazy. Unless I drink a lot of vodka, in which case, yeah, don't be surprised if I drink myself a hundred times. I'm glad I don't have bolt up break yet. I'm sure I'll find one soon. I'll switch it up. I think Antonov has plenty of fun already. Let me give other guns a spin. No pun intended with this. I thought there were switches in there, but I guess not. Mm -hmm. Ah, insta funeral. Good, good, good. Oh, are we at the exit? But. On. Now, hold on. This can't be the next already. There's, there's still more to do. There's a yellow key thing I haven't opened yet. Well, that switch wasn't red, so I guess that wasn't the actual exit. Still. I guess you got these yellow key bars here. Well, um... Okay, I'm gonna quick save, okay? Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Ah, knew it! I knew it was the exit. But, uh, the exit's over there. I knew something was going to miss because there are a bunch of monsters in the web. But there's still a. Uh... Well, I'd love to flip that, but there's still a yellow key. A few yellow key doors I haven't opened. I don't have a yellow key yet, so I'm actually not going to go to the exit just yet for once. So, let's go back this way. Yeah, because these are the yellow key DDO here. Maybe it's not required. Well, clearly it's not, but still. Is that where I got the blue key, or is it over here? It's all red here. Hmm. Oh, I didn't realize I was 24 minutes in this video. See, See here's the thing. Um, yeah, screw it. Let's go to the exit. Okay, a few factors. Okay, first, I mentioned it before. I Never heard of this one before, let alone played it until now. Second, these maps are fairly large. No Man's Station, probably better than No Man's Sky. Rohan, success! We have sent a message to Earth warning them of the incoming demonic fleet. The demons will have a rather unpleasant surprise waiting for them when they get to Earth. With Earth out of harm's way, it's time to take this fight to hell. The 
a ship not too far from your location, at the bottom of a thermal vent. You can use it to fly up to the demonic ship and set it on a return course to hell. Okay. Pretty cool music here. Definitely not dead so Definitely. But anyway, um, yeah. Plus factor. Never heard of this one, but played it. Second, the map's fairly large. Third, you know, sometimes I get distracted but you know, talking and stuff. Just would get still things off my chest, you know. You know, I've learned that repair, but all things considered, it could be a lot worse. Or try preparing an engine block. Oh boy. You really gotta pay an arm and a leg for that. You might as well buy a new car at that point. Might be a long episode, but hey, I have a week off, so we'll have to enjoy it, you know? Don't be slowing down on buying some games and stuff for a while, but I got plenty of games that, plus, you know, most of the time I'm playing Gmod or Skyrim anyway. Bill's gun and oh, I already have one, never mind. Lowe's, another pepperoncini chip. Sorry if you're any crunching for the mic. <laughs> I can't tell if pepperoncini chips is so good. I never had pepperoncini peppers. These chips though. Pretty good. Of course, especially when I put my hot sauce on. Oh, the channel are nice. Oh, I just. It's over there. Well, I don't even worry about that over there. Okay, so I got the blue key. that. Usually I don't. Of course I need a red key. And thankfully it shouldn't be far. Yep. <coughs> well, I kill all the monsters. There's not a secret left, but oh well. I'm not too concerned about secrets at this point. Alright, next up is Fortress of Bullets. Okay. Let me just clear this area first. And that's more going to end this video, comrades. I'll try another video up sometime tomorrow. So in the meantime, this is part two of TNT Revolution. Bootdoor Overkill, episode 63. This is Kevin Caleb signing out.